Welcome back. Here's the community updates on March 12th. Grand Rapids Mayor Rosalind Bliss, a nonprofit, the Recycling Partnership, announced a new campaign by the City of Grand Rapids rolling out this year to educate city households on best practices for curbside recycling with an emphasis on preventing plastic bags from entering carts. For the new campaign, the city will again inform residents about acceptable recycling materials such as yes for paper, cardboard, and plastic bottles, and no for plastic bags, cords, and yard waste. It will do this through flyers encouraging households with recycling cards who haven't participated to begin doing so, and a new effort of requiring households that repeatedly put out carts with high levels of contamination to participate in an educational program to have their recycling service returned from shutoff. More details about the city's Fall Feet on the Street campaign are available on its website. The Kent County Health Department joins 21 other Michigan health care providers in being awarded around 2,500 additional COVID-19 vaccine doses as part of the state's effort to enhance a vaccine equity strategy. In total, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services awarded 35,800 doses for the pilot program. The pilot program providers are expected to receive the vaccine doses this week, according to the department. As of Friday, over 203,000 Kent County residents have been reported as receiving at least one dose of the three federally authorized vaccines. Vaccine eligibility in Michigan currently includes residents age 50 and older with medical conditions or disabilities and caregiver family members and guardians who care for children with special health care needs starting March 22nd. Eligibility will expand to include all Michiganders 50 and older. More information about vaccine availability in Kent County is available at, West, at vaccinatewestmi.com. An outdoor mural roughly 40 feet tall of local Latinx leader Mariela Ortez Blakely will soon be painted in downtown Grand Rapids as part of an ongoing public art project honoring local women leaders in Grand Rapids history. Called Women's Way, the project has been turning overlooked alleyways in the downtown area into murals of leaders painted by local artists. Work began on four previous murals last July that are now complete, and the project is organized by Downtown Grand Rapids Incorporated and various community partners. Mariela Ortez Blakely, who passed away in 2015 at the age of 87, was a role model, a champion for minority women's rights, an activist for the poor, and an advocate for higher education, DGRI said of the leader in a statement. Local artist Arturo Romero will start work on the roughly 40-foot tall mural this spring in the alley that runs off Fulton Street between Sanchez Bistro and Back 40 Saloon. Romero will paint the mural on the southwest corner of the building that houses Sanchez Bistro at 38 Fulton Street West. More details about the Women's Way mural project are available at womenswaygr.org. The Rapidian encourages local residents to share their own stories related to civic, economic, and public health developments in the Grand Rapids area on the Rapidian's platform. Check out this week's featured articles on the Rapidian's homepage and to get started as a community reporter by visiting the rapidian.org slash write. This video is supported by the Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs, the Lowell Arts Center, and the National Endowment for the Arts. This update is brought to you by the Rapidian, GRTV, and the Grand Rapids Community Media Center. Take care.